yoga is an incredible science that helps us transform our physical fitness which is what it's largely known for today but beyond even physical fitness it's that science which can help us enhance our mental wellness but i think even beyond mental wellness yoga is a science that facilitates the deepening of our spiritual awakening but to be honest more than physical fitness more than mental wellness more than a spiritual awakening yoga is a tradition a culture a set of values a set of beliefs that can truly help us deal with much larger issues in the world than fitness may it be climate change or may it be issues that are being tackled by the 17 sustainable development goals of the united nations poverty hunger gender equality education life on land life under water whatever these sustainable goals may be yoga has a solution a proposed solution to deal with these larger problems and challenges that the entire world confronts today i know that as soon as we hear the word yoga as a solution for global issues we are skeptical how can a system of exercise how can a system of breathing be a solution to global issues and problems which is why i very strongly and firmly believe that we have to start thinking about yoga as more than exercise we have to start thinking about yoga as dimensions which has the tenets to offer us solutions to our global problems this morning i thought i would present to you three dimensions of yoga that can truly help us deal with climate change and address the issues that the un is trying to address to the sdgs the sustainable development goals the first dimension is the philosophy of yoga when we talk about the philosophy of yoga the philosophy of yoga amongst many other principles talks about sensitivity being extremely sensitive to the needs the interests the concerns the feelings not simply of human beings but of trees and plants of animals and birds of the air and water bodies of nature of mother earth of life at large the philosophy of yoga teaches us the very fundamental premise that can help us change global problems sensitivity and empathy i come from india and i grew up always listening to my mom telling me oh we should go and bathe in the mother ganges i wondered i had a mother already my mom why bathe in mother ganges i constantly kept hearing my mom refer to the earth as mother earth i said i already have a mom so here we have mother ganges and now we have which is a river and then i have mother earth and then i constantly kept hearing my mom telling me you should respect and care for mother cow i said god i think i have too many moms here apart from the mother the biological mother that gave me birth here's a mother earth here's mother ganges here's mother cow and what's mother ganges a body of water river what's mother earth a planet imagine a culture a culture of yoga a tradition of yoga where you are even taught to deal with inanimate objects like water bodies and just a planet as people as personalities call it myth call it reality i don't care call it myth or call it reality it's not a problem here is an attitude where we are trying to treat even inanimate things as people with dignity with respect with honor and we can well imagine if we can treat inanimate stuff with respect and dignity what to speak of where there is life 
what to speak of trees and plants and birds and animals and polar bears and aquatics and what to speak of human beings what to speak of a kid in somalia what to speak of someone in siberia what to speak of sanitation issues in india we are talking about a philosophy that teaches sensitivity i mean you know they say that things are meant to be used and people are meant to be loved in the world today things are loved and people are used to get those things not just people trees are used to get those things not just trees animals are used to get those things not just animals water bodies are used to get those things we live in a world where we are constantly exploiting the resources that nature has provided us simply so that we can have those things for our mass consumerism and we talk about climate change don't we and which is why the philosophy of yoga is a philosophy that influences thought don't they say watch your thoughts they turn into words watch your words they turn into actions watch your actions they turn into a habit watch your habits they turn into a character watch your character it turns into a destiny we are at a situation where are we meant to be destined with about 8 billion tons of plastic in the oceans are we meant to be destined with so many species that are suffering extinction who's meant to change it unless we change thinking we can't change speaking if we can't change speaking we can't change acting if we can't change acting we can't change conditioning if we can't change conditioning we can't change characters and if we can't change characters we can't change the modern scenario which is precisely why it all begins with a thought in there so apart from physical exercise and pranayama and breathing yoga is a philosophy that teaches us the fundamental premise of sensitivity and imagine if we can spread this awareness imagine if we can incorporate the philosophy of yoga which teaches sensitivity beyond any religion or region beyond any sect or faith beyond any caste or culture or creed imagine if it's a part of the curriculum all over the globe where we actually teach people how to deal with every aspect of life including inanimate things sensitively we probably are then looking at reversing if not reversing improving the current scenario that we face